We are at the Woodland Park Zoo where I did promise a porcupine Skyana, but she just she she was feeling a little camera shy, and so the lengths that these guys go to at Woodland Park Zoo to make sure that these animals are comfortable. So we've called in Skyana's understudy. This is Bill, Bill. and this is Regina. <laughs> um, okay, so how how old is Bill? Bill is 22 years old. Wait, how long do snakes live? I mean, a lot longer than we think. So he's kind of a, a senior gentleman at this point yeah. in his life. And he was one of our animals that lived in the day house um, before the fire. And after the fire, he came to live with us at Ambassador Animals. And we found out that he is just the sweetest, most sensitive guy around. So now he does programs with us and he gets to be up close with everyone. And you know, Bill is, you know, of legal drinking age. You guys, you guys are getting ready for hippos <laughs> and mojitos. It kicks off, of course, the fundraising season for you guys. I mean, this is obviously important. Like, how does this money help you guys, besides the obvious, like, I mean, because you couldn't do what you right. do without yeah, them. It helps our zoo just survive, but it's, you know, it's wonderful. It, it, some of it goes to conservation efforts around the world. I mean, it goes to making and taking care of these wonderful animals that call Woodland Park Zoo their home. Um, it goes to education programs and really just making our zoo accessible for everyone in our community. Yeah, and now, am I allowed to pet Bill? Of course, you want to pet down uh, away from his face yeah obviously away from his face yes. Ooh, bill feels nice and soft. soft now regina i gotta ask you though too um what do you say to people who are like oh my gosh free all the animals you're, you're keeping them in captivity it's not fair to them i'm sure you get that question a lot what do you say all the time so a lot of or most of our animals were actually born at either our zoo or other zoos and they don't know how to survive in the wild so setting them free is a wonderful thought but they wouldn't be able to take care of themselves. Mm -hmm. So living here, it's our job and our mission to take the best care of them as we possibly can and provide them every sure. sort of opportunity and the best welfare that we can. Yes. So coming up next hour, we're going to show you some hippos. They are the stars of the Hippos and Mojitos event, um, but also how you can help give back to these animals and help Regina help Bill. and. <laughs> Bill, such a such a very nice nice older little. Gr you think about older guys being grumpy. No offense, older guys, but this guy very sweet. He gives you guys a good night. <laughs> guys, back on over to you.